Combustion engines have been the unprecedented juggernauts of astronautics since the 1960s. However, these powerful machines become powerful inhibitors once a rocket has left the atmosphere of Earth. Rockets burn large amounts of fuel and generate more thrust than necessary for efficient extraplanetary travel. When considering extrasolar and interstellar travel, conventional fuel is horribly inefficient and non-renewable. Fuel often weighs 20 times as much as the spaceships themselves. Therefore, engineers have increasingly turned to non-chemical-based solutions to spatial propulsion, of which the most heavily touted is solar sails. Solar sails are enormous, flat, ultra-thin sheets of material used to propel spacecraft without the use of ordinary solid or liquid fuel cells. Combating the issue of expensive, dangerous, and heavy rocket fuel has been a priority for space travel experts, and one alternative being explored is solar sails. The idea of solar sails has been around since the 1920s, when Soviet space pioneers Konstantin Solovsky and Friedrich Sonder hypothesized and studied the idea of using thin mirrors for travel. These sails are most often aluminized film, such as Captain film, with a baseline thickness of 0.1 millimeters. However, newer developments to the material also suggest that a carbon fiber material based on the nanotube mesh weave technology might be more effective because of its increased sturdiness and thickness to other plastic films. Despite the increased thickness of these materials, their porous quality make them the same mass as the original so that the momentum transfer benefits are preserved. The physics behind the solar sail is grounded in the idea that when the photons in the sunlight hit the reflective surface, they bounce back and propel the sheet in a particular direction, which then transfers this momentum to move spacecrafts toward their destination. Solar sails are capable of photon propulsion due to their extremely low density and high reflectivity. Materials are chosen based on these factors and are composed of plastic film, metallization, and adhesive elements. Carbon nanotubes are typically suggested as the plastic component of the sail. These materials consist of graphene sheets rolled into tubular shapes, resulting in a flexible cylinder with a diameter measured on the nanometer level. Through different methods, such as laser vaporization of graphite rods, chemical vapor deposition, or ball milling, carbon nanotubes can be produced in extremely high yield. The nanotubes can then be made into sheets for construction of solar cell membranes through a process similar to paper making, which requires filtering nanotubes dispersed in water and peeling dry nanotubes by layers. This entire process is highly efficient and relatively cheap, making it a viable option for solar cell membranes, which are used to contain reflective metals such as chromium. Alternatively, other solar cell designs have been created that attach a plastic film between the reflective and emissive layers. Two of these prospective films are Mylar and Captain. Mylar has a high tensile strength, high reflectivity, and provides ultraviolet protection on the sun-facing side, making it a promising element in solar sail creation. It is a biaxially oriented polyethylene terephthalate, meaning it is a polyester that is stretched incredibly thin to about 14 microns. Kapton is a polyamide film produced from the condensation of pyromolytic dianhydride and an ether derivative of aniline. Its properties are very similar to that of Mylar although it is also capable of operating on a wide range of temperatures, which is important for space travel. Metals such as chromium provide a high evasivity on the back side of the sail, while aluminum is used for the reflective side. This emissivity is integral to the solar sail since it's temperature dependent and will need to be monitored and regulated when in close proximity to a star. Using these materials, solar sails are made by depositing thin films about 100 nanometers thick. These films are then laid out and bonded together and finally are structurally reinforced into the cell membrane. While the physics of rocket fuel propulsion is rather simple to understand, the physics behind solar sail movement is more complex. Due to Newton's second law of motion, acceleration is maximized by the minimization of the mass. So, solar sails are extremely light in order to maximize surface area for light exposure and maximize the transferred momentum to the spacecraft, which in turn moves it. The pressure of the photons allows for an increase in the propulsion the solar sail can experience, and therefore results in a greater momentum transfer and speed to the spacecraft over time, allowing solar sails to contend with current jet fuel propulsion as the future of modern space travel. Though the force due to the momentum transfer is small, it's continuous, which gives a continuous acceleration and an overall higher velocity. Some have suggested the use of a laser to give the sail an initial push of extra energy to supplement the energy from the sun. Solar sails offer the possibility of low-cost space operations, but several challenges are apparent. An ideal solar sail is perfectly flat with 100% specular reflection, meaning the complete elimination of photon absorption by the sail. 
Solar sails also have to be very large to catch as many photons as possible. Materials are chosen to try and emulate these dimensions as much as possible, but obstacles arise. As a solar sail increases in size, the trusses must as well. When dealing with ultra-thin materials such as mylar, tearing and breakage becomes a major issue. Solar sails can reach high speeds, but stop accelerating when outside the field of solar photon influence. These ultra-high speeds can damage the intricate design of the sail, as micrometeorite impacts could be catastrophic to the integrity of the sail. The interest in long-distance space travel is at an all-time high. Considering that the inefficiency of jet fuel is one of the largest barriers to extraplanetary space travel, the further development of solar cell technology could be a catalyst for increased innovation in the field of space travel. Overcoming such a difficult problem as jet fuel usage would allow researchers and tech developers to focus on other pressing issues involved with extraplanetary exploration, as well as continuing development on fuelless means of transportation. So, even though solar sails would not directly allow for travel to other planets, they would provide a piece in the complicated puzzle that is space travel. In order for solar sails to be more commonly used in space exploration, scientists are working to find ways to solve the challenges that come with using solar sails. Possibilities of metallic mesh in order to save sail mass have been proposed, as a mesh will be reflective of radio waves and, if manufactured correctly, could also be reflective to infrared laser and microwaves. Other alternatives also include implementing ripstops of Kevlar so that a tear does not propagate across an entire sail, trying out the implementation of different materials together to form a more rounded solar sail, and using different solar sail design configurations. With these in mind, solar sails could hold the potential to revolutionize space exploration. The effect the materials have in determining the functionality of solar sails exhibit the relationship between structure, properties, and processing of the material science and engineering paradigm. As said previously in the video, the process of making and the structure of solar sails affect how well their properties serve their function. With such properties, solar sails are able to provide an alternative to more efficient space travel and can impact the exploration of the universe by expanding possibilities.